Hello guys and welcome to another interesting episode of Madrid, my DNA, the home of everything Madridistas, as we discuss you through Real Madrid's latest and important update. Okay, starting with today's agenda, Vinicius Jr. has been tipped to beat Jude Bellingham, Kylian Mbappe to the race of the Ballon d'Or by former striker Manuel Adebayor. We are going to be literally neutral that on this episode as we progress. And then shortly after that, we are going to quickly turn our attention to the next agenda of the day as Real Madrid have now reached total agreement with team captain for another year of contractual extension. We are going to be detailing you through that as well on this episode, so please stay tuned right up to the end. Do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel, turn on your notification bells so you do not miss out on our daily Real Madrid update. Emmanuel Adebayor is widely regarded as one of the most eccentric footballers of the past decade. A striker by trade, Adebayor, during his two decades long career, played for clubs like Manchester City, Tottenham Hotspur, Arsenal, Monaco and Crystal Palace among others not forgetting Real Madrid. One of Adebayor's fondest spells, though, came at Real Madrid, at least that is what the player claimed in a recent interview with Spanish publication Marca. I love Real Madrid. I think it is reciprocal. Madrid will be in my heart forever. I, w I was happy and enjoyed my time at Real Madrid a lot, Adebayor proclaimed. The former striker played for Real Madrid between January 2011 to July 2011. He was brought in by Jose Mourinho to add more substance to the Los Blancos front line. Adebayor heaped praises on Mourinho proclaiming the Portuguese tactician as the best manager he ever worked with. Mourinho is the best coach I have ever played for. I would do anything to protect his name. He is a wonderful person and a great coach. When he chooses you, he will go to war with you and that is what I like about him, as Abayo said. Talking about his short spell at Real Madrid, Adebayo revealed that some of the best moments he enjoyed at the Santiago Bernabeu included working with multiple stars at the time. Real Madrid always had great players. Ike Casillas, Sergio Ramos, Marcelo, Di Maria, Benzema, Cristiano Ronaldo. I learned many things from them and they also from me, said Adebayo, who even expressed his desire to return to the Santiago Bernabeu one day. I had some incredible moments in Madrid with great players and a very good atmosphere. It would be a pleasure for me to return to Madrid, Adebayo said. After he was done reminiscing about his past spell at Real Madrid, Adebayo offered his thoughts on the current setup and how they reach the UEFA Champions League final. When you re arrive at Real Madrid, you realize what it is. You feel it. Nobody thought they would eliminate Manchester City, and they did. By end March 2, he said. The former Tottenham striker was asked about Kylian Mbappe and his potential move to Real Madrid this summer. Adebayo backed the Frenchman to succeed at the Santiago Bernabeu, but hinted that he would have liked him to move to the Premier League, stating, Kylian is a world-class player. He has proven it by winning the World Cup and many other titles with Paris Saint-Germain, playing brutal football in the Champions League. Everyone knows that the Premier League is the best league in the world. 
I have had the opportunity to play in La Liga. I can give him advice. But the decision is his. All football lovers wish him the best of luck. Wherever he goes, he has to show his football, he said. Adebayo went on to offer his thoughts on the Ballon d'Or title and who may win the prestigious trophy between Mbappe Joe Bellingham and Vinicius Jr. To one's surprise, the former Real Madrid striker backed Vinicius Jr. to win the Ballon d'Or title ahead of Bellingham and Kylian Mbappe. Joe Bellingham did it for several months, but now Vinicius, he said. If you ask me today, I will tell you that I am going to give it to Vinicius. His mentality of never giving up regardless of the situation, continuing to fight for the result, that's what he's been doing for several years, added Manuel Adebayo as he concluded his interview. So I've discussed and concluded with that, we are going to quickly turn our attention to the next agenda of the day as Real Madrid have now reached total agreement with team captain for another year. According to a report from Radio Marca, Nacho will remain Real Madrid captain for another year as the club and their captain have come to an agreement to extend his stay. Earlier, there were reports suggesting Nacho was ready to leave the club. He has called home for his entire career to start a new chapter in Major League Soccer. However, his departure from Real Madrid first team has not been officially confirmed yet, unlike Tony Cruz's exit, which was announced earlier this week. Nacho still considers his options. It is said that Nacho is still considering whether to end his long tenure at Real Madrid where he has been since he was very young. A few days ago, it seemed certain that he made the decision to move on to the MLS. Apart from that, he also had offers from the Saudi Arabian League, but his heart was set on moving to the United States. But the reality is that he is still undecided about whether to leave or stay with the club. For another season. This season Nacho made his debut as Real Madrid first team captain and has led them to win two titles, the Spanish Super Cup and the league title. In addition to interest from the MLS, Nacho has received offers from European clubs with Serie A team Inter Milan particularly keen on signing the veteran. Until recently, it seems almost certain that Nacho would leave Real Madrid. His representatives were actively working on securing his next move with a strong initiation toward a club in the United States. However, in terms of event, the experienced defender has chosen to stay with Real Madrid for one more year and it is said that manager Carlo Ancelotti is very pleased with his decision to remain with the team. So having discussed and concluded with that, we have come to the end of this interesting episode. Thanks for following us right up to the end. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to this channel. Turn on notification bells so you do not miss out on our daily Real Madrid update. See you next time and a very big Hala Madrid to us all.